Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to teach you for the right operation how did we make bit and bit bar of opposite polarity. Let's quickly start for the right operation. What we will need is nothing but a right circuit. And this is how it looks. It's very, very simple. Let's call this input as right enable. Here, we'll call this pin as data pin and we'll connect both this terminals to ground. So if you remember for the right operation, what we needed to do was we wanted to make a bit or we wanted a bit to stay at VDD and bar to go to zero. For that to happen, what we need to do is make our data pin equal to zero. So let's quickly name all these transistors. Let's call this as N5, this as N6, this as N7, and this as N8. So for the right operation, what we are going to do is make our right enable signal equal to 1, which is in turn nothing but VDD. And if that happens, my N5 and N6 transistors both are going to turn on. Now when my data is equal to 0, this 0 is going to N7. So this is going to put N7 transistor off. This 0 is given at the input of the inverter. So the output of the inverter is nothing but going to be logic 1. And this will turn on N8. Just think that this point was called bit and at this point was called bit bar what's going to happen is because n5 and n6 are on bit is going to be passed here and this point will also be bit and this point is also going to be bit bar now because n7 is off this bit line which was through the pre-charge circuit and 6 transistor SRAM charged to a logic 1 will not have a point to discharge and will stay to logic value 1 and this point because n8 is grounded bit bar will go to 0 is it confusing yes no yes if it is let's understand the whole circuit and then it becomes very very simple give me a second just remember the diagram n5 n6 right enable on turns on and will pass whatever is present Let's quickly understand. So in simple words, this is what is happening. This is nothing but my pre-charge circuit. Everyone agrees to that. Great. Let's quickly make a six transistor SRAM also. This is nothing but my bit. This is nothing but my bit bar. And if this is my six transistor SRAM, this bit is going to go to NMOS this bit is going to go to my NMOS bit bar and this is nothing but connected by cross coupled inverters isn't it this is my six transistor SRAM we have already studied this does everyone remember that's nothing but an inverter yes and this both are nothing but word line how does the right circuit look we just saw that mm, cool Two N MOSs in series in both the directions, and this is connected to ground. We just saw on the previous slide this is nothing but my right enable, and this is nothing but my data, which is given to an inverter, the output of which is given to an N MOS here. Let's quickly understand for the read and write what's going to happen. So for the read operation, if you remember. We wanted a bit and bit bar both to be equal to VDD. So what we did was we made phi, which is nothing but this point. Oops, that's correct. It's nothing but a PMOS. When phi is equal to zero, what's going to happen is my transistor P3 and P4 both will be on and it will make my bit and bit bar to VDD. 
So these are both going to VDD during the read operation because of phi equal to zero and this is nothing but the work done by my pre-chart circuit. Now for the write operation and remember bit and bit bar are still at VDD. So this node is at VDD and so is this. Now for the write operation what's happening is I have enabled my write enable signal. So write enable goes to one which is nothing but it turns on my N5 and N6. Everyone agrees. Cool. On. Now my data is nothing but equal to zero. When my data is zero, you all will agree that N7 is off and N8 is on. And that's happening. Bit does not have a path. Now bit, when this N5 is on, is being reflected here. And when N6 is on, bit bar is reflected here. Because N7 is off, do you all agree that bit does not have a path to go to ground and it will stay to VDD? And because N8 is on, bit bar will go to zero. And this is what we wanted for our write operation. In future lectures, we'll see how exactly read and write happens. Stay tuned. Thank you.